Hey guys, it's Isaac from Glorified Tech, and today I have a video explaining about my gateway PC that I'm rebuilding. So you're probably thinking, rebuilding, what the f did you do to it? Well, what happened is uh, I decided to have some fun time, and I went inside and I played with it without a stack strap, and it was not a fun time, and so therefore I fried the motherboard. And that fried everything else, and yeah, it was not fun. But now, within a couple days here, I ordered a new motherboard and some new parts, and I'm gonna rebuild it in within a couple days. Before we tell a story about it, let's look at it around the case and the other parts. So here's the case. It's a pretty nice case, and it has some pretty cool features, featuring uh, things I can't show you, but there's a lot of nice lights on it, and it's a very nice micro ATX case. Inside, it looks a little ugly, but that's pretty usual for pre-built and the cabling is pretty self or bleh, pretty non proprietary or whatever however you want to say it and yeah it looks you can fit uh, two disk drives and two hard drives here is the old motherboard that got fried it's pretty decent nice micro ATX Intel motherboard now here's the only and uh, only outtake and intake fan that's in the entire case. It serves as an outtake fan, it's in the very back, and I think it's either 60 or 80 millimeters, I'm not for sure on that. And here is the heatsink. Now, this heatsink is quite weird, but I think the reason being why it's like this is because the side panel, there is a little cutout for a fan on there, and I think this tries to central where that part is on the side panel, so then all the air gets out, and yeah. Here is the CPU, uh, I'm going to zoom in on it in a second here, but it is an i5-3450 and I have it just re resting against my CPU box for my current computer, which is an i5-4590 if anyone's wondering. Here is the RAM, it is uh, a 6 gig stick and a 2 gig stick. Uh, it was 6 gigabytes of RAM in there, I don't know why the company went with 6 gigs instead of 8 but it was it did me well for the time being but I always got annoyed everyone else had eight and I was the unlucky mother who had six now here is the power supply and this is inside the power supply because right when I got this back from the shop to for them to ask me or for them to see if it's broken or not uh, I basically just took everything apart and kind of ruined it all now I regret some of that as I could have probably kept the power supply and I could have had it as a backup power supply to test for testing purposes but it was a Japanese piece of crap, and so I'm kind of happy I took it apart. Um, you can just look around this if you want. I don't know much about it, except that it looks ugly and the capacitors are huge on it. Now for the story. Back in around, it was either, I think, 2011 or 2012, I got this computer shortly after my old HP Pavilion desktop uh, broke because of a fried motherboard and no that was not my fault it was just getting old and I don't know it was second-handed so it's possible the last person that had it broke it but I am not for sure but I got that shortly after getting that uh, computer and it broke and I was very sad that that computer broke and there's a good chance we could have probably salvaged a lot of parts from it but I was still happy that um, I got a new one within pretty short time like within a couple weeks and so this was a really nice computer. Did everything I threw at it. Uh, back in the time, I just played small games like Minecraft, and I browsed the internet and Skype. That's all about really I did on there. Now, I had no graphics card or anything, and so I couldn't do much other than Minecraft. But that was really fine for me because I just that was really the only game I played, and it played just fine. Also, one thing I did want to really say is this is pretty common with most uh pre-built PCs, but it was always very quiet, and I hope it is still, um, which is very nice. The fan, I think, is pretty quiet, and there's only one or two in there if you count the CPU cooler, and so that's really, really nice. Now, with the future upgrades that I'm doing in there with the graphics card and everything in the power supply, I don't know if it's going to be as quiet as it was, but either way, if it still works, I'm going to be happy. Uh, one thing I did not like is if you... Recently, I went on the back of the motherboard to take the, um, whatever you call it, the thing that holds in your uh, CPU cooler. I can't think of the name of it right now, but that hold, whatever holds in the CPU cooler, it was held on by double-sided 3M sticky tape. And so that is not very good, and I don't know how I'm going to put that on the new motherboard or anything, so I'll just figure that out. Um, i find something else, but yeah.
as you can possibly see in this uh, picture I kind of got mad and unbent all the pins on the CPU uh, area and yeah all right, now I do not have any shots of that of this, but I might put some in. I there was a one terabyte Western Digital Caviar green in this computer, and it was it was a pretty nice drive, nice and quiet. And back then, one terabyte was great to me, but now I use it as a second hard drive in my new computer, along with my new SSD, and it's very nice. I think it's starting to get old now. It's getting around the time where I need to replace it. It's getting too old, and I've written a lot to it, so. Uh, it's very nice, but I'm slowly running out of space with videos and video footage and games and all that. I have about 200 gigs left on it, but uh, very nice drive, I will say that. Wish they used something like a blue because screens are not typically made for everyday use, but I guess if you're buying a pre-built, a lot of times you're not going to be doing a bunch, of, a bunch of reading and writing. You're basically just going to store photos on there and go on websites. So for the average person, like someone in their 30s or an elderly who just saves photos and browses on the internet it was probably a good drive but for someone like me I would have preferred a blue drive in there now I'm gonna quickly briefly try to talk about the features of the case without sending sounding like a mental retard um, it was very nice it's a very nice case um, all black and as you can see actually in one of the shots on the side of the case it has a big little like fan cut out for some air to get out I don't actually know if you can put a fan on there the more that I look at it but um, yeah and then on the front of the case there is a huge SD card reader and two USB 2.0 slots and two audio slots the SD card reader was very nice um, for while it worked and then I broke it when ejecting a SD card one day but it was very nice while it worked and it probably still does it's just broken a little bit um, it happens with most SD card readers. I'll try to include a shot of it or a detailed picture if I can, but what happened is the plastic uh, covering around the SD card uh, ripped apart right in the middle, and so that's always fun. Also this computer came with Windows 7 Home Premium 64-bit, which is very nice, and I tried using that OS on my computer, but I had many problems trying to use it, that key and everything, and I ended up buying Windows 7 Pro for my current computer. Also, this is one feature that I absolutely really liked in this case uh, a while ago, and I'll probably still like it. Uh, it had like kind of like a some LEDs effect to it. Right on the left, if I get pictures of it, I will include it. But on the left and right of the case, on the front, lights would shine, and on the top a little if you press the button on top, and it was very nice and very cool. Um, another feature I'll have, or another feature that I like is on top of it there was a little area that you could set your phones and you could plug your phone into and you could cable manage the wire into it and it was just very nice um it wasn't like anything like quick charge or anything or usb 3.0 but for it being back then it was still a great feature and i've never seen that on any other case except this series of cases on the front it was very nice uh there is spots for you could have two cd writers or CD players or whatever you want to call them. There's one at the top and then the second one was always blank. I think I'm gonna put in the second one a hard drive because there was a hard drive cage inside the case, but it just took up too, too much, so much space that I didn't, I don't really want it anymore. As when I put the new graphics card in, the graphics card probably is gonna barely fit to begin with. And so I think I'm just gonna get a five and a quarter inch or 3.5 inch bay that I can put the hard drive in up there. The only other couple things I want to mention is I will have to buy some screws and standoffs for this because again I decided to be dumb and right when I got home I ripped everything out and kind of threw everything away or just took it in pieces. And so I'm going to have to buy a set of standoffs and screws before I can put everything back in the case. But that's okay because altogether that will cost like 5 bucks on Amazon. One other thing is that since I ripped everything out the IO shield area where that is the graphics card PCI slots the little holders and stuff I ripped all that out which I regret again but I think I can buy some PCI blanking slots off Amazon and that'll be all good if not I'll find some mod that I can do to it with probably wood or something 
Another thing is that this is just one last thing I'm gonna say is it came with a Wi-Fi card not that that care matters very much but at the place where I'm gonna be keeping this computer in the next video I'll be talking about that we're gonna be keeping that Wi-Fi card or I'm gonna keep that Wi-Fi card in there even if it blocks the graphics card uh, because the internet there it's very good hardwired but the Wi-Fi drops out sometimes and my phone doesn't like it very much and so there's a uh, program called like virtual wireless network or something and you can rebroadcast your internet with ethernet and a Wi-Fi card and so I might do that I'm not for sure yet but I think I'm gonna keep that just in case and if the ethernet cord ever breaks or the LAN port breaks etc etc anyways I think that's gonna wrap up this video I hope you guys liked it um, I'm gonna have another video out shortly is about the future plans and the parts and seeing if it works it's gonna be a long video it's gonna be a two-day video in one uh, it should be out shortly I'm not gonna I want to post this like each video is about gateway PC I'm gonna try to do a variety on this channel but I actually if I go check right now I think the motherboard just got delivered um, to the to my house yep so the motherboards all delivered there and so that'll be cool and it'll be a long video on that very soon Anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.